Hi there, welcome back to Titan Web Basics. Today we're going to be taking a, a little tour of the new and improved dashboard for Titan. So here is the new dashboard. And um, what I want to show you is first off the menu on the top, on the upper left hand side. Um, from here you can decide what you want to be working with first off, forms, docs, or websites with Titan Web. You can also uh, go straight to your dashboard, uh, your account, switch user accounts if you have multiple accounts and sign out you also have the details of your email address that's associated with the account you're working with the role the uh, account name and the environment that you're connected to which is great to keep track of what environment you're working with and also the license type so then let's go over here to the dashboard and see uh, like some of our statistics so first off we have uh, the monthly statistics which are very important to be able to keep track of so we have our API calls. So it shows you how many API calls you have for that month based on uh, the limit that you that you are given on, based on your license and also doc generation. So you get to see how many docs, documents you've generated based on your monthly limits. You also have capacity, this is storage on the Titan platform, the amount of public projects you have and the amount of users associated with your account. So those are editors and collaborators. Um, if we click on new project, what you see here is that you get the, uh, the ability to decide whether you want to do a Titan web project, uh, a form, or Titan sign, creating uh, documents to be signed with Titan. So everything can be controlled now from this brand new dashboard. And um, as you can see now, you also have the all the projects that your account that you're working on are here. So you can click, you have forms, you have docs, and you have web. Um, and there's also a little menu on each of these so that you can open it from there, export it to another account, preview it, duplicate it, or delete it as well. And of course, you can sort it by the last opened or by the name. So whatever is best for you. And uh, we're excited for you to start using it.